Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Omni Studio Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add picklist values dynamically in your Omni script. So first of all, why I am recording this video is that I find this is a challenge for the developers and for the consultants whenever they want to populate the values in a picklist dynamically in Omni Studio, in Omni script specifically, there is no straightforward way to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that in a very simple way. So we are going to start with the having the select element on the canvas. So I'm just going to go to build and uh, I will just uh, search for the select element and I will just drag it and drop it over here. Now, if you have uh, something like uh, manual options that you can populate using this options uh, property over here, if you have something like you have a field of uh, which is the type of pick list on your object then you can utilize the as object uh, source and manual as i said you can use the options here you can add the option the value and label but if you want to populate the values dynamically let's say you want to populate see this is the uh, sample edit contact page and uh, on this script i want to showcase all of the contact records as the values populated in this pick list now what I'm talking about is the records of the object so that you would want to be populated in this object and we also see there are many scenarios when we utilize the object records to be populated in the uh, as the cards in the in some screen or as the values in the pick list. So the same scenario we are going to utilize here we are going to populate this pick list values as the records of the contact object. So to do that first I'm going to select the option source as custom. Now, as soon as you select this option you can see there is a source field which is available for me here now so i need to provide the source here from where these values are going to come so here you need to give the name of that apex class and the method so class dot method you need to provide in that format here then your values would be coming here now let's move on to that class so here I have already written because this is a standard format. You can also check this class on the documentation as well. So all you have to do is change in this second method. So first we are going to talk about the uh, class itself. So this class basically implements the Omni Studio Velocity open interface. So it is just an interface that is uh, being available for us. It is a standard way of using it that you can utilize to perform some of the actions using the remote Apex classes. Now the important thing to notice here is this keyword Omni Studio. This has to be the prefix that is available on your Omni Studio install package. So let's go back to our org and let me just go to the setup. And I'm just going to look for the install packages over here. And basically Omni Studio is an install package so you can uh, find that package in your install packages so you can see here and the name x prefix I can see this is the Omni Studio so this keyword you will have to use this prefix you will have to use over here if it is different then it is not going to work okay now let's move on to this method invoke method this is going to be the as it is format as it is written over here there is no changes going to be there in this method whatever object you are querying upon or whatever functionality you are building this method is going to remain the same and the parameters also this name of the another method you can change based upon your requirement like uh, i made it like populate contact picklist value but you need to call this method inside this invoke method and you need to give the this condition as well okay so basically once this uh, omni interface uh, this class is going to be called from your omni script this invoke method is going to be called and eventually it will call your method now let's see what we are doing inside this method first of all i am initializing a list of map and map is the type of a string comma string then i'm querying over the contact object and i'm just querying the id comma name it could be different object in your case it could be account it could be lead opportunity or some custom object as well then I'm creating, uh, initializing a map, which is also a string comma string, and I'm adding the values in this map. Okay. And what I'm adding, I'm adding the contact ID as the name and contact uh, name, sorry, contact ID as the name. 
okay so here the key is name and the value is the id of the contact record and another entry what i am doing is the value okay and in that i'm putting the name of the contact and once this map is created i'm just adding this map into this list of map okay once it is the the iteration is completed on all of the contact records and we have the list of all the maps all the key value pairs then what i'm just doing i'm just putting this map in the options in inside this map so that that is basically another map which is which is out map and the type is the string comma object so in the string i have the string as options and in the object i'm just giving this list of map okay so that's all you have to do you do not have to dig anything in this code whatever object you want to use just change the name of the object and if there is a change in the field also that also you have to change apart from that you do not have to change anything over here okay once that is done now you will have to come back to your omni script and now we will talk about this source property here so as i said earlier all we need is the name of the class dot object of the uh, not object the method of the uh, class in which we are getting those records and we are creating the map or the list of maps and we are returning that those values here so i'll go back to my class and this is the name of my class i'll just copy it and paste it over here in the source dot and the method is populate contact pick list value so i'm just gonna put it over here now this is done that's all you need to do but there is also one more setting you need to change and now for that you need to go to setup and check this checkbox fetch pick list values at a script load so basically what it does whenever your script would be load that time also you can see the pick list values so it will help you when you are doing the preview of your omni script so uh, in order to preview your values then you need to check this checkbox if you will not check it the values will not come simple as that now everything is done we have selected option source as custom we have given the class name and the method name and class also we have understood what is written there it is very simple code now let's preview this thing so i'm just going to click on preview and let it load first so you can see the contacts are coming dynamically so that is basically how you can utilize this omni studio open interface interface class to extend your apex class and to fetch the picklist values dynamically and populate your picklist values in your omni script so this is a, a basically a challenge because there is no standard way like you if uh, you want to utilize any existing picklist on your object then all you have to do is the give the name of the s object dot api name of the field then all of the values which are present in that picklist could be coming over here but here we are talking about specifically for the records which you want to populate dynamically in your picklist now it doesn't matter when you uh, delete some records from that object or when you add some new entries in that object the values are going to populate accordingly no need to be uh, no need to make any change on your omni script side so that is where it is very useful and in the next video i'm going to show you how you can use uh, omni script and this is the same uh, interface class and uh, implement dependent picklist in your omni script that is also very important uh, uh, implementation in here with where uh, many developers or consultant find it difficult to implement that solution so that's all we are going to discuss in the video in this video thanks for watching